is Nurse Amy from www.doomandbloom.net. I'm a nurse practitioner, but you know what? I'm also a gardener, and today I would like to talk to you about growing horseradish. Now this absolutely beautiful plant is called horseradish, and it's really, really great to grow, both for health benefits and for putting on your food. So where should you plant horseradish? That's one of the first decisions you really need to make. And you have to understand that horseradish can be invasive. So I picked a pot so that it can't grow and fill up my whole yard with horseradish. But if you have a corner in your yard where you don't care and you'd love to see these beautiful leaves everywhere, then go ahead and put your horseradish in. Now what you want to do is obtain the root. Now there's a couple of places you can get it from. You can get it online. You can go to a farmer's market or of course if you have a friend growing it maybe they can give you some. Um, or you can go to a, a health market where it's probably not been treated. But just make sure that it looks really fresh. I'm going to make sure that it's not too dried out because you want this to grow when you put it in the soil. So what I did was I bought it and immediately planted one of the roots and the second one I have saved. And what you can do to save your horseradish root is to just take a plastic bag and poke some holes in it because it needs to breathe and that's called perforation. So you want to perforate your bag. You want to store this in the vegetable bin. Now this serves two purposes. One, it delays the time that you have until you have to plant. So if your grow zone says you should be planting your horseradish in say February or March and you get it in December, you can keep this in your refrigerator. But it also helps to force the dormancy. For people like me who live in the South, I can use a refrigerator for the three months to fake this horseradish into believing that it's been living during winter so that when I put it back in the ground in February, it's gonna grow beautifully. So what you wanna do, um, of course, if you're using the pot like I did, dig a 12 inch hole. You wanna fill it in with just some basic compost. I use, of course, the organic compost. But fill it with some compost and mix it up. You're going to be planting the horseradish in a 45 degree angle. So this is how it's going to be in the soil. Now, the top of the soil should be about two inches above the crown so that you have the tapered part in the bottom and the top part, which is a little bit wider, two inches from the top. And then you're just going to cover that up with mulch. Now, mulch is great because it helps to protect the, um, the root from drying out. If you have a very dry season, you want to conserve your moisture in the soil. So the mulch is great. I use pine straw myself. Um, but we have a very long dry season and then we have a very wet season. So I do use the uh, pine straw and I don't know if you can see any of these gardens here, but that's what I use uh, during our dry season right now. So plant at 45 degree angle. Um, this plant is only about two months old. Uh, within a few days to a week, you can actually start seeing some sprouts if it's the right grow time and it will be very, very happy. Um, when the fall comes, go ahead and dig up all your horseradish, save the largest root to replant, and save them all in a perforated um, plastic bag. Now, you can use the smaller roots to eat for up to three months, and then go ahead and plant that larger root. But you can just make fresh horseradish, and I'll show you how to do that in part two. It does have lots and lots of medicinal benefits, and the leaves are even edible. And this can grow to be about two meters or about four feet tall. So make sure you give it lots of space. Um, they do say that one root, generally speaking, is large enough for one family, but if you want to plant two of them, make sure you give them lots of space. You want to plant them at least 30 inches apart. Um, harvest them at least once a year. Um, it is a perennial, and if you let it grow too long, uh, it becomes woody and it doesn't have that fresh taste. So in the fall, when it's time to harvest, go ahead, dig it up, save the biggest one and replant it, and you'll have fresh, great-tasting horseradish throughout the year. 
anyway, this is Narsa Amy, and um, again, we'll be back for part two, and please visit us on doomandbloom.net, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.